Hello friends, welcome to Magento Tutorials. In the last video, we discussed about this routes.xml, how to create it. Now in this video, we will create the controller. So let's see how to create a controller. See here, controller in Magento 2, how you can create that. We will create a URL something like hello world index index. For that, what you have to do, in the last video, we have created the front name in the routes.xml. In the second section, we have to create this folder index. So where we need to create this controller path? Go to your Magento root directory, app, code, web dev, hello world. So this is my module root directory. Here you have to create one folder name controller. Take the naming convention. The first letter of this controller folder should be caps letter. Open this. Inside of this, you have to create this index folder. Take the naming convention. First letter should be caps letter. So now we have created this index folder for the controller path. The second section is also done. For the third section, for executing our code, we need to create this action class index. So this action part will have some execute method based on the execute code, uh, whether you want a page, whether you want to execute some code. So you can do that in the execute method. So how we can create that? So for that action class name, that is a PHP class. It is an index.php. So this is the action class. All the action classes in Magento should be with .php extension. Okay, because we will provide some backend code here. Now this action class is created. Now you have to fill some information about this action class. Okay. Now the file is empty. You have to extend one action class. So now what you have to do. See here, this is the first step. This is the PHP tag instead of this uh, class file. So for this action class, the first tag is PHP as we are writing the PHP code. Okay. After that, you have to put the namespace. Namespace represents this directory path. Okay. Till here, you have to put it in the namespace. So starting with uh, package name, webdev is my package name, uh, vendor name, slash. So this is my module name you see here under the web dev I have created this hello world after that follow this path okay controller index okay this is here put semicolon and you have to open this class so what is the file name index.php whatever the file name you have mentioned for this file you have to set that for the class name okay the same file don't put any extension here okay this is just a class name after that you have to extend one class that is magento framework app action action what we are doing here we are just uh, creating this index class and extending the parent class so what is this class and what are the available functions in this class let's check that vendor magento framework app action action open this file see here this is the action class. So what this file contains, it has some dispatch functions. For example, if you want to forward uh, forward to any URL or if you want to redirect to a particular URL from this class, okay, then this class will help us uh, to do that. You don't need to write any extra code. So all the redirection part will already be available in this class. Okay, so that's why we are extending this action class. So what is the purpose of this file? Just, I want to show you uh, some hello world text in the front end in the browser. So we need to add some constructor here function 
underscore underscore construct this is just a php code i am not adding any magento code here it's just a php related things so we need to add one class here magento framework app action context so every time i can't uh, mention all this text okay i want to put it in, in a shortcut so you can take that in a variable okay something like context so what dollar context means uh, you are just taking the reference of this entire class okay so you don't need to write all these class name okay you just call this uh, dollar context so all this class will be called so what this context class is having I will show you app action open this context.php we have different methods here so what is the use of this context file so this context class will help you to redirect to any specific URL or if if you want to take any request from the front end you can do that or you can uh, give the response to the front end uh, you can uh, add any URL so that it will redirect to some other pages okay that is the use of this context what you have to do in the child class I have loaded this context class so you have to return that to the parent class okay for that you have to return parent okay here just we are returning uh, this context to the parent constructor okay okay now what you have to do our constructor is loaded after that whatever the customization you want to do you can do that in the execute method this is like the constructor so what constructor will do whenever you load this class or whenever this class is called this class will be automatically called you don't need to call it separately so just add it in the constructor so for example if you are printing uh, hello world or something you want to execute in the front end so you have to do that in this execute method this will be called automatically like the constructor okay but first it will call the constructor and then this execute method okay so whatever the class you want to load uh, before your execute method you can put it in the constructor so that will call first and then it comes to the execute method so in the execute method what you will return so for every function you have to return something right so i'm just printing hello world call now i have created this controller action class okay to execute in the front end you have to run the di compile because whatever the code you have added in the constructor if you want to load that you have to run the di compile because magento will generate that code otherwise uh, it will not take this so you will not see the execute result in the front end okay now let's do the di compile go to any terminal go to your magento root directory run this command php bin slash magento setup colon di colon compile now go to front end you see here this is my base url so if i enter hello world index index so whenever i hit this url what will happen it will go to this action class so this action class have some dispatch method so this dispatch method uh, will call this execute method of the current class okay so this is how this action class will execute this method and will return some some code which we have added in this execute method okay now let's check in the front end so if i enter you see hello world called you see here we just return one uh, hello world text and just showing in an empty page but uh, this is not exactly we want uh, you go to the home page so we have header section we have footer section so right now we are not seeing that in the next video we will discuss about uh, uh, blocks and layouts please subscribe to our channel webdev chanda Thanks for watching.